What is a grinding dummy block? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain what it is, why you need it, and how to set it up. The dummy block helps to prevent grinding dry with fluid by guiding fluid to the height of the workpiece before the wheel contact is made. Wow, maybe it's just easier if I show you. So what is a dummy block? Okay, a dummy block is a block that you put on your workpiece. So when we start with our coolant, what's gonna happen is our wheel's gonna be here, we want coolant actually touching our wheel when it engages with our workpiece. But since the coolant flow is going down, it's hitting our block and then bouncing back. So we're going to add what they call a dummy block here so that before our wheel comes in contact, it'll be coated in coolant so that as soon as it touches the wheel, there's coolant on the work surface where it needs to be, not down here or somewhere else. So by adding these dummy blocks in, it just allows the coolant to skid across and be in contact when we need it. These blocks are slightly shorter than the blocks we're actually machining, and the ideal block won't have any holes in it, but we have to use what we have. Here's an example of grinding without using a dummy block. In the preceding three snapshots, the yellow arrow represents the wheel contact, the black arrow represents coolant flow. So in this particular one, if you take a look at the yellow, you'll see that the wheel has already made contact before coolant has come into contact with the wheel or the area that's being ground. In this second snapshot, you'll see that the wheel is almost ready to exit the workpiece and the coolant still has not made contact with the actual surface of the workpiece. In this snapshot, you can see that the workpiece or the, the wheel is exiting the workpiece before the coolant has any chance to catch up to the actual contact area. And as you know, what you want is coolant to be on the exact spot that the contact is being ground when it first starts grinding. Here's an example of grinding with using a dummy block. grinding with using dummy blocks. If you take a look at the yellow arrow, it represents where the actual workpiece starts. The blocks before that are a little bit slightly smaller than the ones that we're using. And yes, they have holes in them, and I know you shouldn't have holes in them, but these are the blocks that we have. So if we take a look, our workpiece is not in contact with the grinding wheel yet, and coolant is not onto the block as of this point in time. In our second snapshot, if you take a look at the yellow line, the wheel is starting to make contact with the workpiece. And if you take a look at our coolant flow, it is at the point of contact where the wheel is grinding the workpiece. In our third and final snapshot, you'll see that the grinding wheel has already left the workpiece and there's a flood of coolant leaving the workpiece as well. Why is it so important that we have continuous contact with the coolant onto the work surface? Well, there's a few advantages. The first one is it cools the workpiece and flushes away the swarf or the debris. Second, it helps lubricate the cutting action, which reduces the pressure, which will make your wheel last longer and also give you a better finish and hopefully will prevent burn marks on your workpiece. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And also remember, it's hard to be part of a conversation if you don't participate. I'd like to send a big shout out to Aiden for helping me with the editing, and thank you for watching. If you received any value from this video, please give me a thumbs up, and consider subscribing. Have a good night.